I know I wasn't the only one curious about those funky looking exhaust setups on diesel trucks. Specifically Duramax. Believe it or not, that design exists for a reason. Other than looking weird, the whole point of those vents are there to cool the exhaust when the truck is going through region. Starting in 2007 and a half with LMM Duramax, the EPA required pickups to use a DPF. In 2011 with LML Duramax, DEF aka diesel exhaust fluid was introduced. Regen is the process of burning off accumulated soot in the DPF, also known as diesel particulate filter. Soot is a byproduct of unburnt fuel aka particulate matter. We can cover more of the regen process in a different video, so please comment below if that's something you would be interested in. DPF temperature during an active region will quickly climb up to 1000 degree Fahrenheit. In order to quickly burn collected soot off and allow DPF differential pressure to come back down. Temperatures during active region can reach as high as 1300 degrees Fahrenheit. Driving the truck, you'll notice a little different engine pitch and higher idle while stopped. You may feel extra heat underneath the truck during active region and will occasionally catch a funny smell out of the exhaust. Also during active regen, your fuel mileage will decrease significantly. For example, my truck used to get 15 miles per gallon. However, during an active regen, it goes down as low as 11 to 12 miles per gallon. Now that we've explained the regen process, those vents are starting to make sense. But why is it so important to cool the exhaust? Take a look at this exhaust tip that's been powder coated. Through several regions during our 2000 mile road trip back from SEMA, it has melted and burnt the powder coating on the tip. This is a DPF back 5 inch exhaust in which I've noticed there is no ventilation on this exhaust. It is a very interesting design compared to the factory ventilated system. Curious to see how this exhaust system works compared to GM's factory exhaust. I know what you're thinking, don't powder coat the exhaust tip. Well. On vehicles that do not go through regen, powder coated tip seems to work fine. However, you may want to coat if you want an exhaust tip for a vehicle that does still go through regen. Cooling the exhaust gases before exiting out the tailpipe is important and has some real life benefits. Because the tailpipe is exposed, bringing in cooler air to reduce the temperature so you don't burn yourself if you happen to walk behind your truck during or right after an active region. And accidentally touching the exhaust tip, it could cause some injuries and possibly result in lawsuits. Also imagine pulling your trailer hundreds to thousands of miles with your truck going through several active regions. It could melt the trailer. If you live in a city and the truck goes through an active region, it could potentially damage the vehicle next to the exhaust as well as your own vehicle's paint. Lastly, cool temperature can reduce wildfire according to the state of California. Here is something new we learned today. Let me know in the comments if this was something you already knew or you found this information to be helpful. Like, comment, and subscribe. <laughs>